Hey everyone! Today I'm going to introduce you to a controversial puzzle in the field of probability theory. It's called the Sleeping Beauty problem, and here's how it works. Sleeping Beauty has agreed to participate in an experiment. The scientist tells her, okay Beauty, I'm going to put you to sleep on Sunday night, and then I'm going to flip a fair coin. If the coin comes up heads, I will wake you up on Monday morning. If instead the coin comes up tails, I will, again, wake you up on Monday morning, but this time I'll put you back to sleep and wake you up again on Tuesday morning. Also, I will administer a mild amnesiac after you wake up on Monday morning, such that after you go back to sleep and wake up on Tuesday, you won't remember having woken up on Monday. That's the setup. Sleeping Beauty agrees, she goes to sleep on Sunday night, and the next thing she knows she's being woken up by the experimenter, uh, and he asks her, Okay, Beauty, what do you think is the probability that the coin came up heads? So there are two ways that Sleeping Beauty could approach this question. On the one hand, she could say, well, the probability of heads is one half. Before I went to sleep, if you had asked me what's the chance this coin will come up heads, I would have said one half, because it's a fair coin. Also, I knew going into this experiment that whatever happened, I would find myself waking up. And here I am, I'm finding myself waking up, I haven't learned anything new that I didn't already know was going to happen before the experiment started. Therefore, there's no reason that I should be updating my probability from the one half that I would have put on it beforehand. So it's one half. That's one approach. Alternately, Sleeping Beauty could say, the probability that the coin came up heads is one third. So there are three possible scenarios I could be in that would feel identical to each other, where I find myself waking up. Um, and one out of those three is in the world in which the coin came up heads. More to the point, if we were to ex repeat this experiment many, many times, and I were to answer heads every time I find myself waking up just like this, then I would turn out to be right one third of the time. That's the argument for one third. Um, a further intuition pump to make one third feel even more like the right answer was proposed by philosopher Nick Bostrom. Basically, it asks you to imagine that in the Tales world, Sleeping Beauty has not woken up twice, she's woken up a million times in a row. Um, and in this scenario, if you imagine waking up and being asked what is the chance the coin came up heads, it feels much more absurd to say uh, one half, given that you know uh, out of all the wakings, only one out of a million and one are in the heads world. So the havers and the thirders have fought bitterly over this problem. Uh, there's no consensus solution. And you probably think that it's obvious which the right answer is. However, rest assured that there are other people who are similarly confident that their answer uh, is th the right one and it disagrees with yours. If you want to learn more about this, I recommend uh, checking out the work of Nick Bostrom, especially his book on the Anthropic Principle, or just perusing the Wikipedia uh, entry on the Sleeping Beauty problem and following the links from there. It may seem like a toy puzzle. I mean, it is a toy puzzle but it's not unimportant. The answer that we decide is correct to the Sleeping Beauty problem has bearing on, first of all, our philosophy of probability, what, what we think we even mean when we talk about probability, what it is, and it also has bearing on uh, anthropic reasoning in general. So that's the field studying um, how do we reason when the probability of us seeing a certain evidence, piece of evidence, is correlated with us, the observer, existing in the first place. Um, this greatly complicates probabilistic reasoning, uh, and that in turn has bearing on how we should think about some important real-world questions like, for example, the probability of the world or humanity ending in the near future. But that's a topic for another video, uh, or several more.